You know that's all on video so far. <laughs> I have to edit all that out. I have to edit all that out. Yeah, it's all on video. <laughs> hey, good morning everyone. Trackman44 here. Hey, you know, I always come up with some weird things, you know, in some of these videos. Um, and it's always a treat when I go over to my much older brother's house. Uh, I come over this morning to take a look at that 301, um, 301 John Deere uh, about his wiring and all that stuff, you know. Uh, but in the meantime... He threw me a curveball and has a little machine here for, for you guys to uh, to look at. He thought you guys might enjoy this. I sure hope the camera focuses good enough on it for you. But take a look at this guy right here. It's got a tumbler right here with a whole bunch of uh, little hooks on it and everything. And when you turn this guy counterclockwise, these alternately go up and back down as though they were grabbing hold of something like a piece of yarn maybe. All right. Well, I'm no expert or anything, but uh, he knows exactly what it is. Uh, this is actually a... Family knitting machine, patented in uh, April 1st, 1890. So with this guy here actually is made for knitting socks. Uh, you start out the process up here and as the sock uh, drops through the bottom to keep putting pressure on it, you actually add the weights right here, just like your old weights on a scale. You add your weights to the bottom of the sock and that keeps the tension on everything in order for it to keep, uh, to continue uh, sewing the, uh, the, the yarn or whatever the material is they use to make socks. And there's quite a few of other things here that I have no idea, like this little guy right here. That's an accessory for some particular thing. Haven't gotten into it deep to see what it is yet. And then, of course, here's another um, another item for uh, shaping or something to do with the, with the process of the socks. So there just might be some little old man or little old lady out there that uh, knows exactly what this is and how it works. Because um, I certainly don't, and he knows a heck of a lot more about it than I do, and he doesn't know much either. But hey, wait a minute. May as well look through the book a little bit. It's a J.E. Gearhart and Son from Clearfield, Pennsylvania. And look, in the 1800s, they uh, abbreviated Pennsylvania, P-E-N apostrophe A, instead of the two-letter designation of just P-A now. I'll open up and get some pretty pictures here. Here's all the description on how to set it up, how to do it, how to begin the process. Oh, there's your weight down here. You can see your weight down here. I assume it starts with the top of the sock and then goes towards the toe. I don't know. Well, here's a title on this page says closing the toe, so that'd be kind of interesting to read. But at any rate, I don't know if you guys can see all that or not, but, um, but nonetheless, it's very interesting. It's just something how these old timers actually uh, came up with all, oh, knit mittens. They're making mittens here and then a way to make fancier stitches. But at any rate, it never ceases to amaze me the ingenuity that uh, that these old timers come up with. I think with math and a pencil and paper, um, just about anything could be figured out back in the day. I think they got computers to do all this kind of stuff now, and I'm sure they don't use anything like this in the manufacturing uh, manufacturing process of socks today. But you know, just a little bit of nostalgia, something that I never lived through anyway. We never even dreamed of making our own socks, you know, whenever I was a kid. And that was 70 some years ago, man. Okay, you ready to turn the crank a little bit? Yeah. Okay, now uh, my much older brother talked to a lady at a tractor show up in Wisconsin that actually had one of these in operation. And so he watched her do it and asked her some questions. So he's filled me in on a couple of details. You can see, if you look very, very closely, you can see all the knitting needles or whatever you call them, the darning needles go up and down. Of course, that's to grab the material, but you'd turn it kind of slow and everything. And then as the sock top would come out of the bottom, that's when you would take this accessory here and attach onto the sock. You would take this accessory here and attach onto the top of the sock. And this accessory is what added you would add the weight to in order to put pressure on the sock coming out of the bottom. I got an extra cylinder here with it. Oh yeah. And he's got an extra cylinder. It's exactly the same uh, spacing and everything, so it's just nothing but a spare cylinder for uh, for the process. This is just accessories to to the machine. I really don't know what they're for. And there's a few other accessories that uh, neither one of us know anything about what they're for. You know, we just just don't know. So maybe there'd be some uh, little old man or little old lady out there that has a little knowledge and uh, might enlighten us. That's about it for this video. This is Trackman44, had a much older brother, and we're out of here. <laughs>